This screencast is about electronic keypads. A keypad consists of several switches with one end tied to a common pin. With a dip switch, like shown in this picture, there's no common pin, so you have to connect each individual switch to ground or power, as the case may be. A keypad with a resistor array together allow very simple connections. So in this case, we have the common of the keypad tied to VCC. We have a resistor array where the common of the resistor array is tied to ground. So you tie the common of the keypad to what you want when the key is pressed. You tie the common of the resistor array to what you want when the key is not pressed. Here's what one looks like. We can see it's a hex keypad, so they're from 0 to 9 and then A to F. And here's what it looks like from the back. You'll notice you can see the switches for each of the numbers and letters, and you can see the traces that go from each of these to the pins. You'll notice there's one pin on here where you can't really see the trace. Keep that in mind. That will come up later. If you're hooking this up with, with, this up with resistor arrays, then realize because the common pin is in the middle, then you'll need a resistor array at each end. One resistor array for these pins, one resistor array for these pins. They aren't in the numeric order of the keys, which you can see if you look at this. You'll see that pin 0 is here, pin 4 is here, pin 8 is here, pin C is here, and then pin D is here, and so on. The common pin, as I said before, is the one where you can't see a trace from it, so it's in here. So, when a resistor array is added, this makes a complete module. Here we see it on a breadboard. We see two resistor arrays. The common of this resistor array is at this end. The common of this resistor array is at this end. And the common of the keypad is right here where this wire goes to power. Only one of the outputs is actually connected. This is for active high operation since the common of the keypad is tied high. So it means when you press a key, you'll get a high on each of the outputs. When you don't press a key, you will have a low. For active low operation, switch it around. So here what we've done is put the common of the resistor arrays to high, the common of the keypad to low, so that now when you press a key, you will get a low. When you leave it unpressed, you will get a high. 